Like, give me an example. Um, like to have uh, pictures of animals and, and people on the wall, things like that. This is a good question. I want to save it for the Imam, inshallah. Um, the question is, can you use images, like for children in teaching? Like maybe teaching a child, this is a giraffe, this is a lion, so forth and so on. Um, I would rather the Imam, inshallah, why don't you come up here, Imam, and he will give us the answer. Uh, yes, come, Imam, yes. We know each other from Arizona, inshallah, and alhamdulillah, good brother, I love him very much. And I always like to share the rostrum when I'm up here. Don't like to stay up here by myself. Alexandra, please. I think the, the only images are allowed in Islam, uh, the children's toys. Prophet Muhammad sallam made uh, an exception for that. And uh, we read in the seerah that when the Prophet Muhammad sallam married Aisha, she came to his house with a horse with two wings. And he asked her, what is this? She said, the horse with two wings. She said, he, he told her the horses have no wings. So if they are toys uh, and to teach children, they are permissible. Other than that, we are not allowed as Muslims to have any images in the houses, any statues or any pictures even hanging in the walls of life, uh, human beings or animals. Because uh, the hadith is very clear that the angels will not enter, the angels do not, do not enter the house or the room where is a dog or a picture? A picture of a living, a living person or an animal? May Allah bless you. No, no, no problem with nature and uh, scenery, no problem with that. Fish tank. Stay there. Stay there. We have one, one last question. Fish tank. Fish tank. So Muhammad, I, I don't think there is any problem with that, but leave them, leave them live in the ocean, inshallah. inshallah. <laughs> Abran says, let me share this with you in case you, you didn't know, again, something personal about my own life. Um, very few people know that I used to be an artist. And I used to be, before I became Muslim, and I used to paint portraits. Everyone who came to my house, I had to paint their portrait. I painted in oil and watercolor and every kind of medium. When I became a Muslim, when I learned that we're not supposed to make images, I had two large envelopes of, 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 of pictures and paintings and I threw all of them away. And, and, and I say that to say that, let me tell you something, um, if, if no one ever told you this as an artist. You know the hadith you read, it says that on Yom al a person who makes an image, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will order that person to make it come alive and they won't be able to do it. Let me tell you something that you probably, no one ever can tell you or never told you before. I swear by Allah, when I used to make portraits of people, I used to sit down after my work, wallahi, and sit and wait for it to come alive. It's something that you don't know unless you're an artist who make pictures of people. There's something that does something to you when you make things like, like a real life person. Something happens to you as the artist. You become proud like a creator. Wallahi azim, I swear by Allah, I don't lie on Allah. Definitely when I was an artist, I used to feel this way. And I used to paint sometimes late at night, uh, uh, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, painting pictures and waiting for it to come to life. So Allah and his messenger know best, we'll lie. So don't, let us get out of the, the, the habit. And I know there's a lot of questions in terms of thick uh, about, you know, about these questions and how far, how far do we go, you know, images and things like that and pictures and things like that. There's a lot of discussion on that. Maybe tonight is not the forum because I'm not an expert on that. What I would recommend is to bring some of the scholars who, who are proficient on that area and who could um, uh, perhaps you know, tell us the difference between photographs, for instance, and, and paintings and statues and, and you know, what are all the hududs. Um, but, 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 but consider this. Try your best as much as you can, as, uh, as much as your ability to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the messenger of Allah. And we'll find out that a lot of times we do things simply because the people of this society do them and we become accustomed to them. Now, let, uh, let's face it, hey, come on. Look, look, I'm not throwing this away. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Don't you know who this is? <laughs> Washington, come on, George Jefferson. I can't throw, I'm not going to throw it away. 
it would be much better to have, a, have money without these images on it. It would be much better, wouldn't it be? Inshallah, we'll get to a, a time, inshallah, where we make our own money. They have no images on it. Driver's license to all of that, you know, passports. We recognize newspapers and things. We recognize all of these things. Um, so there's a lot of issues that we have to deal with in this modern time. Anything but those things that we have control over, try not to get involved in those, those, kinds, of, those kinds of images. Brothers and sisters, I thank you very much for being tremendously, tremendously patient.